Red Hood Outlaw, 41. Scott Lobdell writing, I didn't even care enough to find the artist. So, uh... <laughs> do, do you want me to check? Because I feel like we should at least give him the, the benefit. I think it was David Messina, off the top of my head. It is. Okay, right, cool. Uh, so this uh, is kind of the conclusion to... Uh, I don't know if this was a two-parter. There may have been actually more of that before I read no, this, the last this issue. Is actually, no, this is part five. This is part five, and okay. That's why I distinctly remember saying last time was actually a very interesting issue that it was kind of a, a perfect point for you to jump on, even though it was in the middle of an arc. Yeah, so this is true. There's actually someone controlling Bizarro and Artemis, so they actually have to kind of fight them a little bit. That's uh, not Dead Man, but someone that kind of has Dead Man's powers. I, I don't really know. He even lowered Dead Man. There's like a, there's at one point there's a head of like Dead Man. Well, yeah, I was so confused there. I think that was the point of showcasing that they had Dead Man's powers. So it was like, hey, look, Dead Man. Just in case you're not familiar, I don't think they actually look like Dead Man. I think, it, I think they're like, I don't know, honestly. And because uh, I was confused when that showed up, I was like, wait, is Dead Man actually involved or not? Mm. This this claims this was in the uh, the annual two. But you read. I, I, I guess I read. <laughs> I'm sure I did. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to yeah. check. But... It's amazing how many of these characters I forgot about in the last month. Like, I, I vaguely remember Jaw, like the Metal Jaw Lady, because that was a kind of a cool idea. But the rest of them, I'm like, yeah, I don't remember any of these characters from the last issue. Uh, maybe the baby a little bit when the baby showed up. Like, okay, I remember that concept a little bit, but... Yeah, I couldn't tell you a lot of their names, but I, I'm starting to remember vaguely. There's the, the, the baby with the mummy, um, there's Doomed, obviously, mm -hmm. and you've got uh, DNA. Yeah, so yeah, so they end up fighting uh, Artemis and uh, Zangief from Street Fighter. Because uh, <laughs> Bizarro. Was it? Yeah, and apparently uh, Jason just kind of snaps whatever's inside Artemis out of it, out of her by kissing her. Uh, because... And the spirit the wants thing... no nothing to do with kissing Jason Todd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like gross, gross, gross. It's like a little carried away there. It's like, ah, screw it. Fine. I think it's just like it, it admits the jigs up and goes, all right, fine, I'll give up. But I mean, why? Why would you just give up the bodies? That, just, because, just because you've been found out, you still have control of two very strong people. Yeah, it was kind of weird to me. Uh, some of Artemis's dialogue felt kind of weird for Artemis' dialogue, but that, admittedly that may have been before she was herself, so but fair enough, I guess, if it sounds kind of weird. Uh, uh, yeah, that was kind of like the big point. Because you know... there was one moment where she said, am I right? You know, all one word at the end of a sentence. I mean, that doesn't really sound like something Artemis would say. <laughs> yeah, and, and to be fair, Jason does call her out, like the, the, the entity, whatever it is, is like, hey, you know, you, you might be down on the the body you might have that under control but you do not have the personality yeah they find veritas at the end and she's like you know all right i guess uh and they end up going back for some dinner and they're all one big happy family weirdly and jason sort of ends the with the narration basically saying well you know what i didn't give up some people didn't give up on me so i won't give up on them so it's kind of a heartfelt ending he's got this new family of weird characters to look after yeah, I feel like I missed an issue somewhere, and I know I didn't because I'm being forced to read these every. Month. <laughs> but I remember like when uh, when Artemis and Bizarro were being kind of rescued. I think that was the end of the last annual uh, Super Pup, which is the little Superman doll that you see there. Mm -hmm. There was something sinister. I'm sure I remember saying there was something sinister going on with it, like it was kind of evil, like there was something going on with it. Yet here it's just oh, there's nothing wrong. Everything's everything's normal. And I'm like, I feel like I missed something. But I don't know. And all of this whole big happy family feels so unearned at the end. Yeah, no, I didn't, I wasn't feeling it. Uh, honestly, the first half of this issue was just honestly just kind of confusing to read because it, it was jumping around all these different characters. And while I read the last issue, none of them really stuck in my mind enough that I really remembered who they were, what they could do, or like w what they were even doing in this building. <laughs> it wasn't until they actually got to Veritas. Oh, they're here for Veritas. That's right. Yeah, the art was mostly good. I will say there was a there's a big uh, like a months ago prologue with Roy at the start. Mm -hmm. It's only a couple like one two page spread, but that first panel with Roy in, I did not realize it was Roy until like uh, until he started to, you know talking after and and actually I think the the second panel that you see him in was okay, but that first one I did not recognize him. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, oh, honestly, kind of a weird read. Uh, like, it's one of these weird things jumping into a story halfway through, especially when it's got all these extra characters. And it, you know, because it'd be fine to jump into like 
if it was just a Jason Todd story and it was just Jason Todd like dealing with like Penguin or something like which was happening like in a previous arc, like or, I, or even if it was just Jason and you know the the, the outlaws, you'd kind of get off. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd understand like who's who and like roughly what's going on, but like because this was so many like, these weird characters who I barely know or don't know at all. It was just kind of like jumping around people that I don't understand it. It reminded me of like trying to read like a Legion of Superheroes comic back at the start of New 52, just not knowing who anyone was and like just feeling lost and not really taking honest, any of it in. Half of the, most of the characters here are only been introduced this past arc as well anyway, right? So yeah. this is only like the fifth this issue anyway. So it's hard to give a shit about any of them. Yep, that's pretty much it. I, I assume people who are enjoying the book cared that Artemis and Bizarro were just back i i think i like that because i like bizarro was tended to be one of the high points of the book whenever we were doing bizarro stuff so maybe i'll have some not completely terrible things yeah is he not uh, speaking in reverse now because he was kind of he was kind of saying what he meant in this issue was he kind of yeah he was no i mean it was a bit of, yeah, it was a bit of both, wasn't it? Because he was saying, you know, I've got a line here, Bizarro, I'm confused. And it, but it made sense that he was confused at that moment. So he's saying he's confused. Yeah. And that's after, you know, the spirit or whatever leaves him. So that is him. It's not like it's someone else. No, no, it's, it's true. Um, maybe, maybe this is a... Uh... After the... Because, you know, he, he, you probably don't remember, but he had that arc where he was incredibly smart for a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe this is like a residual leftover. He's not quite as bad as he was before. I guess, I guess. But just... Honestly, it makes it easier to read. I don't know it does. I assumed you would know why that was, though, but you seem to be just as equally kind of like, oh, I guess that kind of hammed. It's one of those things that Bizarro hasn't been in this book consistently for so long now. Like, uh, they've... Bizarro and Armas have been gone for a long time. We had that one annual with them in. Um, but other than that, they've not been there. So... I, I kind of just have forgotten if if it changed, you know, okay. or if it, I don't know. I just it, I just read it. It read naturally. Um, it didn't feel like it had changed that much. So maybe it must, maybe it happened at some point, and I just got used to it and didn't notice it was different here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that is a uh, rate. I suppose we've given it. It is a solid four out of ten. That. Yeah, I agree with the four. Yeah, nice and, nice and straightforward.